Hey guys, it's Don is back with another vlog. Welcome back to the beautiful city of New York, guys. And um, as you can see, I'm on my rooftop right now, about to get my day started. Tim, let me just show you the view right now. Yeah, as I was just saying, I'm about to start my day right now, getting ready. I'm heading back to do some errands again. Can't believe it, I'm going downtown Brooklyn again. I've got a client that I have to meet up with there right now, so she's waiting for me. So I just wanted to show you guys, like, you know, this is where I live, my neighborhood, and um, I'm about to start my day, and I'll check you guys in a second, because i got to run to the train station right now. What's up with me in Brooklyn? Because every time, I guess I run into Brooklyn every second, so. but I guess that's where most of my clients live. And, it's either a city of Brooklyn, but I gotta run downtown Brooklyn and finish up my child. Hit back to the city and get shit done, you know. It's, I think, like 80 degrees in New York City. It's pretty hot. Nice outside. And I'm just beginning my day. So we start today on a positive note. I gotta get on the J train today, mostly. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, you guys better subscribe right now because you guys are missing out. You know, you better show me some love. You know what I'm saying? Hit that like button and let's get the party started. You know, so where am I right now? Probably I'm in the Lower East Side area. And um, let's see if we can cross the road. We don't want to get hit by a car. So, bye bye. yeah, that's what I do. Let's keep on this ball rolling and uh, let's get it let's get going. So, if you guys like um like the nightlife and stuff like that, this this neighborhood is legit. So, this is like the lower east side. I, I hang around in here most of the time. You know, it's a pretty decent neighborhood. Where everything happened. Probably the nightlife is kind of like good. If, if you ever come to New York one day, you better check out the Lower East Side. It's cold. It's like it's just wild out here. You know, it's like oh, young people live in this neighborhood mostly. It's very gentrified right now. It's kind of like pricey. I like it here because it's like the nightlife, the restaurants are 24 hours. Mostly everything in New York is like 24 hours open. Only maybe if you leave after uptown, probably when you go into like Apaya, what's that? Apaya, I don't know much. I don't want but that's for like mostly like the family oriented people. But the rest mostly is like I'm in the lower east side. This is where everything happens. So if you ever like one day plan to come to New York, yeah. Let's connect and probably show you around because this is my playground, y'all. And I'll show you around how we get shit down here. Like, I hang around in this neighborhood probably every day. Yeah. So, whatever you are in the lower east side, come, come check this place out. You never, you never go wrong, you know. I hang around in this neighborhood a lot. Check the nightlife, it's crazy up here. Because all the bars are mostly in the lower east side. So, whatever I feel like you want to do, it happens here. And, um, you will never go wrong. You know. So right now I'm, uh, I'm I'm just looking for the J train so I can hop on to go into Brooklyn real quick and get some stuff going. But let me show you how the Brooklyn Bridge looks from here. Yeah, but we'll we'll get on the other entrance. But I just want to show you the Brooklyn Bridge right there on top. You can see that's um, that's the Brooklyn Bridge. You can never beat that, especially if you're uh, one of those people like to a lot, you know. You 
never go wrong. It's always lit out here. So like people having fun. Matter of fact, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. And if you like halafo, you can. So you see, that's the broken bridge. I don't think we can make it right now, but um, so we have a metro card because uh, we gotta swipe this guy. Come on. Come on, you see that? Alright, we're in. Guys, if you live on the J train, that's the worst train ever. I'm telling you. Just walking hard to get this client some stuff, and I mean, I'm off. Flew home to the city, then I gotta head to the gym. In a, few, in a few hours, I guess, because I gotta do this. Gotta, brother, gotta make some money, right? But yeah, like coming to New York for me, and uh, wasn't. I didn't feel like a stranger the first time I arrived here. It's like everybody was so welcoming and. People are just nice here, you know. They're different. I know you can be assholes too. They're assholes everywhere you go, anyways. But it's just different. People are kind of like nice here, but not everybody. But people, if they don't give a fuck about you. They'll tell you they don't give a fuck about you. But I've never had that experience. Not hard that I get assholes, but not everybody's like asshole. My point of view, like everywhere you go, you're gonna find some mean, some crazy ass people. Uh, etc etc but right about now I've never met anybody who's really been bad to me wherever you go if I, I know you guys have heard oh Brooklyn is the hood no look I'm in Brooklyn right now and people are gonna tell you regardless nah it's not there is a hood wherever you go anywhere in the world but it's where you are and what type of person you are, you can get along with everybody. That means you can live anywhere. I've never had a problem. I've lived in a bad neighborhood in New York. Probably it's New York Brownsville. I've never had a problem. Nobody. Probably those people will even show you loyalty and love. You might find some houses. Like I say, there are houses everywhere, but not everybody's bad. And Brooklyn has been fine to me running up and down so let me see this other person that I'm supposed to meet so guys whenever you're in bed style you should check out this place like they make the good mac and cheese trust me it's called a uh, bed style fish fry fry it's pretty good it's legit the food is really really good I'm in bed style right now and I'm just waiting for my food because I, I order some food I'm going to my friend out here and get some food and we can like um, open Uber the yeah, but check out this place. I think it's on like um, it's called Bedtime Fish Fry. It's pretty legit. Anytime you're in Brooklyn, Bedtime, check it out. I think they do have one downtown Brooklyn. I should uh, I should think so. They better have one downtown Brooklyn. And they she said I think somewhere in Utica, the other part of Brooklyn. Yep. So. Yeah, check it out. If you guys like wanna like have something to eat here in the neighborhood or probably just visit in New York, this is not a bad place to like to, to order food. And it's pretty in a decent neighborhood. Which is not like in a bad mode, you know. It's the food is really good, especially the mac and cheese. Oh my god. You gotta eat those so you gotta take off your clothes so you can wiggle your toes. But yeah, let me get this order. I think the uh, my number is coming up next so this park has been here for a minute. It's in Bed-Stuy. I remember I used to bring 
the dogs for a walk here. I used to babysit somebody's dogs. They were, the names were blue and green. And I used to love those dogs, like they were my own. The lady, I think she was like 70 years old, so I used to babysit her dogs, because she could not manage them. The park is really beautiful, right? Hello, what's your name, lady? My name is Queen. Queen, you see, just like a queen herself. You see, Brooklyn. Everybody show you love. You see, Brooklyn and girls. Brooklyn, right? You gotta find these ladies on social media. You got social media. You got social media. You got social media. You want? Honey, I am social media. Oh yeah, yeah. So just shout out. They need a queen book. Fuck Facebook. Hey yo, right? So pretty nice. All right, bye, sweetheart. You see? Yeah, we just made it to the Apollo Theater. Yeah, I just made it at the, the Apollo Theater and um, yeah. it's never been inside. That's inside the Apollo Theater. Yep. O2 in Harlem is done. Almost like it's Harlem, baby. You see? Yeah, that's Harlem. I didn't, brother. How are you? Good music, but we don't have that. We, don't, we try not to get copyright issues, so. You know, yeah, we try and hurry up and stuff, you know. But yeah, this is Harlem, baby, you know. I like it here, though. If you've been to Harlem, come check out the Apollo. So many memories, so much shit have happened there. You know. You see? Yeah, it's just kind of like help you guys get a, a glimpse of Harlem, how beautiful Harlem is. I'll do this record probably here at night. So we finally made it and I'm like trying to find my train stop so I can like hopefully then go home. It's been one hell of a long night today. I just left Brooklyn. Now I'm in Harlem. Actually I love it out here though. It's totally different. She didn't know though. She did not say so um, You can never go wrong with times like this, you know. It happens every time, whenever you go like in Harlem or Brooklyn, whatever. It's the same shit. You just get excited seeing this love of this city and shit like that, you know. What? But there, there is no down moments every time you're like in New York. You know, 